Hi there, it's Shell. Clint is outside working on ink blenders, and because what he's doing makes a really big mess, so he moved out there for this morning. And we are going to work in our positivity journal, uh, watercolor. I know some of you guys really love that, so that's what we're doing today. And I really love it, so that's the fun part. Uh, I have this new bag I just want to share with you guys. I got this from um, Weight Watchers. And whenever you like uh, record your diet, you know, for the day, <clears throat> Then you get points and you can cash them in for bags and I think I also got a cookbook but I really love the bag. So um, I've been taking it with me in the car and has my pens and pencils and how come there's no pencils in here? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> I need a pencil but here's clips. Okay. Oh geez. So I grabbed it because I thought I had my pens and pencils in there. And I'm going to show you guys what I've done this week on the daily journaling. Um, I haven't shown a lot in my daily journaling. I got really behind like right after we had the accident and everything. <clears throat> but um, I'm still writing notes. I wanted to show you guys that. So it's just kind of fun, fun little things in here. Fourth of July. This is supposed to be Lily May. So she is. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to write, so my friend suggested just, um, yeah, just draw one, you know, the cat sleeping. And my plan was to do like all nine cats, and I was like, oh, I'll just focus on one. <laughs> And then here's when we had our little um, no break accident. And uh, yeah, so I drew like and watercolored a columbine and then some mushrooms. This is actually a poisonous mushroom, but it's the most interesting like color and stuff. So that's what I did that. We picked some mullein. We didn't find any mullein yesterday, Gwendolyn. So I wasn't able to... Um, to do any more, you know, to make a video or anything on that. I did have someone interested. And then this is, I kind of drew where we broke down. This was like a drop off here. Clint said it was only 20 feet, but it felt like 100 feet to me. <laughs> and then I don't know if I mentioned, um, you know, the day that we had no brakes, the tire was low and it um we took it down it took us two hours down and back i think i did mention it and it wasn't a, a leak or anything it was the seal it, it wasn't sealing and somebody had mentioned that you know perhaps that tire because it was the right or the passenger side uh, rear perhaps that tire would have blown you know as we we're coming downhill and um you know it might have made the van escalate out of, you know, you know how it is. And then the guy that stopped, his name was actually Gabriel, which I think was really cool. <laughs> After the angel. So then I did, I'm trying not to focus too much on that. Um, on this day, you know, we don't do a lot. We don't have much of a life, but try to, you know, focus on some things that um, we see all the time and stuff and kind of put a crafty spin on it so um, I just put some of my favorite things reading a clean home YouTube friends my sister and brother uh, my sweet hubby crafting and best friends <clears throat> and then here uh, I kind of drew Clint's singer and then we, again, we always take naps, so I just found this little hedgehog taking a nap on Pinterest, so I drew that and watercolored. And then for dinner, we had pancakes with strawberry syrup, so that was fun. This was the day we saw that dog doing yoga in the park, which I thought was really fun. And uh, if you look up Pinterest, dogs doing yoga, there's all kinds of pictures, so I just kind of drew him in. 
uh, we had tacos and Clint had fried burritos and then we went grocery shopping. We don't have, you know, a very exciting life, but that's okay because uh, drawing, daily drawing is, you know, thinking about um, seeing the common in a not so common way. So maybe more crafty, more, you know, things like that. Um, and then this day, as I was preparing lace and fabric for Etsy, I haven't start, I haven't done watercolor. Because what I've noticed is what I'm doing is like five or six pages, and then I'll come back and do a watercolor on it. So like Clint was cutting up fabric, I was doing lace, just fun things there. And then I wasn't sure what to put on the bottom. And uh, I made unstuffed bell peppers, and they were so good. I loved on both days. And... Um, so I wanted to record that recipe, so I'll put that in here. And then this day I trimmed lilacs, so I drew those in, and then just normal everyday um, activities here, cleaning, coffee, medicine, sweeping, and then I moved the goats and I found these cute little illustrations on Pinterest, I think. And then I had nothing for this day. <laughs> So I drew steak because we had steak for dinner with potatoes, sour cream, and cheese. And then this is the beginning of a um, Clint drawing because he said, why don't I draw like a picture of his face and then do like he's learning Dutch and then put like in some of the Dutch words. And I thought that would be a really fun thing to record. And then these, I just took this with me yesterday and kind of tried to remember everything that had happened and was just jotting things down like this one you know just simple things I took the trash down I made two videos practicing Dutch this day was 13 plus hours in the car 11 jobs Taco Bell for supper salad for lunch uh, Clint had chicken for lunch see boring boring uh, Charlotte and I worked on her son's book uh, we had a wrap for lunch and she had made homemade scones so on this day, I had a nap, and Sophia, she always lays behind my legs, so I'm going to try to kind of draw that where she's laying. She won't even lay down until I'm faced, facing the couch, because that's how I sleep, because she wants to um, get comfortable, and if, if I'm not facing the couch, I kind of kick her out of the way to get on my thing. So I loved on Artie. We had tacos and watermelon for supper. And then, oh, yesterday was so fun. We went and saw this one guy had tons of hummingbirds. I mean, he said he's tried to count them, and he's pretty sure there's well over 30 hummingbirds in their backyard. So I thought it'd be really fun to do like a hummingbird feeder with like tons of hummingbirds kind of going around it. And I don't know what else I'll do. Maybe that's all I'll do, or maybe I'll spread it out for the whole uh, two-page spread. I don't know. And then we had McDonald's for lunch. I was so sick. I'm not really into <laughs> McDonald's anymore. Uh, we got the Forerunner back, which is Clint's, you know, pride and joy. And guys, uh, so, you know, the clutch went out. So we got it back yesterday, and it was so bad. The clutch is, is hard, and Clint was having to, you know, you steer, and then he was having to move both of his hands to move the clutch. So we did take it back in, but it was an all day thing that he had to deal with this. And I guess there's just a simple little piece because they ended up repairing the whole clutch and not just this one piece that we thought they were doing. And uh, yeah, so there's one piece they did not, um, did not exchange out for a new one. And so I guess that's the issue now. Lots of locate. So we're all caught up. Ugh. But if you guys want to see more daily uh, watercolor videos, you know, I love watercolor and I know, um, I don't know, I'm considering if, if you want to see more daily ones, because I do want to try to, you know, try to do them a few times a week anyways, working here. And I thought maybe opening a new um, YouTube account just for watercolor. But I don't know if I want to deal with that. Let me know what you think. Okay, let's get started. I'm just kind of catching you guys up so we did see a marmot
you guys know what a marmot looks like? Let's see if I... I looked it up on Pinterest because I did not have my camera. And I talked to the marmot, but did it talk back? No. So I tried Dutch. Doesn't know Dutch either. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I know I'm a nut. Oh, okay. I just took a picture of it, so where is it? Okay, let me come back down here. Here it is. So this is a marmot, and it's really a almost an intrusive animal. I think it's bigger than like a um, groundhog, or it's kind of kind of a groundhog, but they're really um, destructive. But they're so cute. Look how cute that little face is. So I looked up some pictures on. Um, on Pinterest. This one is from Photo by Gaines P 2003 on Flickr. Mount Evans Marmot. So I'm going to kind of use that as my inspiration for this watercolor. And I just thought he was so cute that I talked to him. I got his attention so he, he could tell that something was going on. Something was different. And uh yeah, I got his attention, and then he kept staring at me, and then I, I said hoi to him, which is high in Dutch, and he was like, bye. <laughs> so, anyways, it was funny. I laughed. Okay, so we are going to put this in our junk journal, which is one reason I do watercolors on my junk journal channel, is because I'm showing you guys how to use a junk journal in um, a different way and I'm using mine as a positivity journal so these are all the things we've done to be positive and I think we need positivity now more than ever just you know everything that's going on right now and yeah so we're gonna put that in here this is a junk journal I got from Christy over at Burlap and Daily Bread she has some really really fun ones um, I don't put a lot of bulk in this one it is, uh, I just put flat things, you know. So, and my friend, hi Lynn, sent me a beautiful card as well as um, some pop California poppies. So that's really exciting. And I was wondering, Lynn, if my poppies here are not California poppies. I don't know. So I'm going to plant those pretty quick because we do have monsoons right now. And I thought maybe that would, you know, help water them and you know get them get them going look who it is Gracie Lynn she's not eating today guys but she's playing and everything she just um, I, I'm wondering if she's sick of the soft food so because it's a new new kind for her I've been giving her turkey now I'm giving her chicken and she's just not caring for the chicken but I don't have any more turkey so, I think I'll pick some up on Monday when we're down. So, and she does have like a hard food chicken. Um, chicken food. Chicken food. She does have a hard cat kitten food. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be that kind of day. So, Clint's out uh, making blanks. Just going to make sure this is going to be <clears throat> the right size for my journal. But, um making blanks and you know we have the we have a couple of cats outside that are starting to get friendly and he comes in and he's like I need a spray bottle and I said what do you need the spray bottle for and he's sick because those cats are driving me crazy the outside cats are getting so friendly that they won't leave him alone <laughs> so he's going to teach him what a spray bottle is oh, so really it's just catching you guys up on the week and um what fun we had, but I felt so bad for Clint. He was, you know, last time we, we got the Forerunner back, he had it seriously like four drives, he said. And two of them were around here, you know, two to Durango and then two around here. I'm going to let her drink the water because there's nothing in there that's going to hurt her yet. Even though I probably shouldn't, but... Um... But yeah, and then yesterday he was so upset. And I don't blame him. You know, we were joking and we said, I hope we get to keep this one longer than uh, four rides, you know. 
Yeah, one. One ride. He's he was so mad. He was just like, you know, I'm paying and it was about a thousand bucks again, so you know, he's like, I'm paying for this and um good girl, Sammy. Good girl good boy, I mean. <laughs> good boy, Sammy. So he was just really upset about that and I don't blame him. And plus, you know, it really hurts your, I couldn't, I couldn't have done it. He says, you know, and that's what we were talking about. You know, if a, a little old lady like myself, but, you know, had gotten that vehicle back, there's no way she could have, you know, because it, it was working okay. And then all of a sudden it started jamming and, and it wasn't uh, dis disengaging or whatever. And he said, I said, how could have, you know, uh, someone who didn't have the strength, do take that vehicle so he did take it back in and he's like you know this isn't working and the guy said darn it I knew that was gonna happen and I'm thinking if you knew that why didn't you replace it? and they're really good to us we can't complain too much but it just kind of you know it's disheartening I guess is what I should say so I'm just using this fun eraser it's nothing but it but an eraser it's from Pentel it looks like when I was cleaning up my craft room, kind of trying to wrap my head around how I want to draw this. So it looks like that, and then this comes down like this. And then, and I do have my own pictures of marmots, but it's so, you know, so much more convenient right now to just grab this one. So that kind of goes like that. This kind of comes down. And then I have a few few um, people on here. One of my sweet friends, Bella and Morgan, uh, their mother watches me and she's like, they would miss how you doing watercolors. So, I'm not going to quit. Of course, you guys can't see nothing because little turds on here. I wonder if she'll lay with me. Shall we see? I've been gone, so we were gone until 5.30 yesterday. So, we were gone about Ten hours, and uh, so she's really been like, "Mama, but you've been gone forever." So, can you see her? She's cute. I know, I know. She is. She's cleaning up her toes. Put this over here so you guys can see it. But yeah, I'm hoping to do something fun for tomorrow's video. Something different, but we'll see. We'll see if it. And how Clint's, Clint's got to help me with it. So we'll see how, how things work, you know, that way. So I haven't been able to draw every day like I want to. And guys, I have bad news. Oh, I'm so, so disappointed, Nora. So um, we get to the post office and there's a package in there. And I'm like, woohoo, I got my... Um, got my uh, rings, you know, so I can put together my lace. That was my goal this weekend. Put, it, put the lace together and get it ready to sell <coughs> in the store. And, yeah, so I come home, I rip open the package and I'm like, what is this? And then I looked at the name on it and I was like, that's not even, doesn't even have our name on it. So I thought I was expecting the rings and it was lighters and I was like ah. so now I don't have you know even the where are you going um, the rings yet so I don't know if my lady accidentally put my package in his because this was like five lighters or you know or what so I have to run down later and see what happened so, but we didn't get home till you know, way after. That's pretty much all I think I'm going to do with him with this one. Let's kind of change that just a little bit. And then we're just going to watercolor. How fun. He's pretty simple. Pretty simple little guy. That's one reason I thought, well, I can just jabber. You know, it is what it is, huh? Let's do... Let's do a background on it. There's not really one on the picture, but the one I saw, it's kind of near um, Woods 
and things like that. So, not woods, but rocks and, well, trees and grass and stuff. So, I'm going to try that. So, let's do kind of blue. And actually, I want to do it like on a... <laughs> you guys know how hard this is with a two-year-old? Two-year-old Deborah. Oh, here comes the class. I bet it is, too. Why don't you go see Daddy? Go see Daddy. He's saying it's getting hot. It is getting hot. He said it was 50-some. So, I'm just, this is going to be a wet, wet and wet. So, what you do is you wet your picture first. And where we live, it's so dry anyways that I can't really do, like, a whole picture like wet it and still expect it to be wet when I bring in my color. So, I don't know. I'm just doing, you know, some blues and stuff. We'll see. Like I said, I haven't really got anything done that I wanted to get done the last few, you know, few days and weeks, week. Because I really wanted, there's a watercolor the class I'm taking, second class, you know, second class, I, ha I had planned to already have that one done, and I just haven't had time, because when I am home, I'm usually making videos, or trying to clean up the house, and organize, and then my friend's son's getting married, and so I go over there a lot to work on, you know, the book, the wedding book. And then she's like, I said, you know, I could go home. And she goes, no, once I can, if I finally get you over here, I'm keeping you until four. <laughs> so I just laugh. I'm like, okay. Because we don't get together that often, but it's kind of fun to get together. But her brother's here now, and she thinks he'll be here for a week or so. She doesn't really know because he is a motorcycle guy and him and a friend are kind of like on a motorcycle trip right now so that's kind of kind of what uh, they are doing so uh, Lisette which one of your daughters you said your daughters would miss this but I didn't know if it was one daughter or both of them or what so anyways let me know I was just curious. But I thought, you know, if I really got into doing um, watercolor every day, and I do have another channel, it just has my first name on it, or my first and second name. So I'd have to, like, come up with another name. And it wouldn't be, like, daily videos, most likely, because that's kind of too hard, you know, for two channels daily. But maybe, you know, a few times a week or something. Let me know. Okay, and so down here I think I'm going to do, uh, it looks like a rock kind of here, but I think I'm going to do grass. I think that'd be fun. So I'm just going to switch over here actually, kind of do it the same way. And I'm okay if it kind of blends into my, the baby went away, so that's good. So it blends into my uh, sky. But yeah, we, um, they actually had our peaches, the Palisade peaches. So we had heard they weren't going to have very many, and they did go up on price, but Clint's a regular, they were like, hey, <laughs> I usually just let him get out of the car and run get them, you know, but I wanted to see what else they had, and so we got two boxes of peaches, so we're going to have to go through them, because um, we typically need to kind of... Um, can them or freeze, you know, some before they go bad. So that might be something we do tomorrow. On and off, we'll see see what the day entails. But yeah, clean out the fridge anyways and kind of put them in there. That way it keeps them from turning bad too quickly. And then I got some yellow squash. And there's a, it's kind of like a squash patty 
that I really want to try. So I set out some chicken and I think I'm going to try that squash patty. I think you grate up the squash patty and maybe mix it with um, some cheese or something and fry it up. So I'm going to try that maybe in the air fryer. I don't know. I think it'll be kind of fun. So it shouldn't take too long for this to dry. So I think what I'm going to do though is put been using the phthalo blue. I think I'm going to put a little bit kind of around it just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. I don't know that it really matters, but you guys know I don't really have a plan. Not that great with watercolor, but I'm learning. But man, the thing, the beautiful card that Lynn sent me. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to find it, Lynn. I know where I put it. I put it up for safekeeping and I'm going to go get it and show you guys before I leave. Before I leave for the day, leave the video I guess, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but I do have a plan for you guys. Somebody asked about um, how Clint and I met and I'm hoping to talk about that tomorrow. I was going to, you know, I told Clint, oh let's do something different. So. He said we can either record it later today or tomorrow, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping I can get him to just do it today, but I need to straighten some stuff up and kind of get organized for it. We'll see. And he was okay for okay with it, so that was kind of fun. But I think it'll be an enjoyable video for those of you who, you know, want to kind of get to know us a little bit better. We'll see what happens. We do a lot of thinking and organizing in the car. <laughs> Planning. Let's see. I'm just doing these darker. I just feel like they weren't quite dark enough. But yeah, it's just, I think it'll be fun if we can do that, you know. And I, you know, have some people who want to see what the want to see all the cats and so I have I can do the same do all that in one video as well in the same video so we'll see it's kind of hard to show all the cats it's not like I can line them up on a on the couch <laughs> not the way I want to anyways okay I am going to let that dry for a minute and then when we come back, actually I'm not, am I? I'm not. We're going to let it dry, but we're going to work on the eyeball and the mouth and maybe the nose. You just don't want to work on anything that is uh, like butted up against the um, thing. I know, pop down baby. And then Monday, for sure we'll be back, I have some. We have to work again Monday, but I do have some ideas of what I want to do um, for the continuation of the paper clips. So I'm kind of excited about that. So I think let's try to do the eyeball. I need like a black. I'm still having issues, and I haven't been practicing a lot, but like mixing my black color, like here's a black looking. So when I get one, I just kind of leave it <laughs> on my palette. And then I'm like, how did I do that? It kind of looks black. I'm going to do that for his eyeball here. But man, those hummingbirds we saw were so fun. They were just, and sh they said they have to feed. Um, what did she say? Six quarts a day. They have to feed in the morning and then they have to feed again um, at night or in the afternoon because the hummingbirds are like, hello, we're hungry. <laughs> so she said she's constantly making up feed. I told her we feed a um, quart once a week pretty much is what we do. So we don't have very many um, hummingbirds. 
see how that bled up? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay, so that eye, that doesn't look too bad. Okay. So, let's see what else we want to do. Come over here. I'm trying not to add too much water. And the news. News. Nose. <laughs> so, I don't think it's wet there. So the nose kind of... Maybe I'm doing it. You know, I just know they say don't, um, don't, don't do your watercolor right next to the other that's wet. So I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of bring this down like this. Gracie Land, paper clip. I really just don't want her chewing on anything because, you know, it makes me so nervous with um, when Jazzy passed. I really think it was something, you know, that she ate around the house, like a charm or something. I don't know for sure, but I have to really, really watch the babies and make sure things are picked up off the floor and things, you know, just little things. So I'm just kind of putting a little bit of darkness, kind of like where the shadows would be, because it's still kind of, and I might be doing that, you know, at the wrong time and all that good stuff, but, <clears throat> and then there's one kind of like right here, and now Daddy's stuff is up here, Art well, Artie is. We have a cat outside that looks just like him, and his name is Marty. <laughs> because, you know, they're brothers, and he's still pretty feral. But we are still trying to find, you know, a home for these guys. So, and then he kind of has like a dark here. And I probably should have kind of, um, you know, d done my brown wash or whatever. That's okay. We're just kind of playing today. Just in case you guys couldn't tell. There's Daddy. What's Daddy doing? Hi, guys. And here's Clint. Hey, honey. Yes, dear. Pause your video for just one second and spray me down. He needed I thought it was like, I didn't know what it was. It was uh, summer. He's getting summered. We have um, sun, sunscreen that you spray, and he took his shirt off, so I'm like spraying down his back. I'm like, you're not going to wear a shirt, because he, he never hardly goes anywhere without a shirt on, but I sprayed his whole back down, <laughs> and he's like, no, just my neck. <laughs> well, you can take it off now, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, anyways. So I'm not necessarily using like any special colors here. I am just kind of using, you know, kind of what's already on my, um, on my thing. So it's not, I do want to, you know, just kind of use what I already have. I've considered cleaning it and stuff, but I don't want to. Uh, I tell you, there's a the baby. There's the baby. Now, with watercolors, um, you do want to be careful, especially with, is it gamboge? There's one color for sure that can be poisonous to cats. I think it's gamboge, either that or maybe it's this one. It's one of the yellows. But, I've heard that it's not, um, as, they're not using the same stuff necessarily as they had been. So, it's not, um... Um, may not be poisonous, but I'm not taking any chances. Like I said, I've had too much heart heartache in our lives, you know, with Jazzy and stuff. But, and I can't, you know, verify that one way or the other. It's just that deep down, that's kind of how I feel. Is that she? Um, yeah, that that was the issue. Um, we're going to 
darken that a little bit. I'm going to have to figure out how to make black. How to make black again. It's kind of got a green tint, so I know I use green. I think I use blue green. And then I use this brown over here to kind of bring it all together. It's starting to look like a marmot, if you guys know what a marmot. Well, duh. Like this. Kind of looking like him. Trying to make him cuter and happier. Because, you know. Because, you know. Okay. So, let's kind of put some color down here. I think I'm going to use this color, which is um, burnt sienna, I think. And actually, I'm going to switch brushes. So, probably if I was doing it the right way, um, I would have done like a wash to start with and all that. But, I'm not. Because why would I do it like that, huh? Okay. So, I'm going to do wet on wet again. So, just in here. Just kind of where I see that color. So, see, it kind of has some of that color in here. So, then when we got home yesterday, it looked like it was going to rain. And Clint has a chop saw. And he, we had to fix up a couple weeks ago. Cause that's one thing he uses all the time. And um, so, like the whole handle thing broke off. And I was we we're fixing to carry it in because he always needs my help to carry it in because it's really heavy. And when I I was gonna lock it so it's easier to carry. And yeah, I broke it again. <laughs> he said, I think you broke it worse than it was broken the first time. I'm like, I'm sorry. But, you know, what can you do? And So we're going to have to get another one of them, it looks like. Because that is... But he wasn't too concerned about it because... Well, first of all, he's had it like well over 13 years. And then, um, two... Oops, his eye's still wet. And then two, he, um doesn't need it right now for what he's doing but it was just a bummer you know so I told him keep an eye on marketplace because there was one up the road for like two hundred dollars and but that was the day that the, the uh, clutch broke and we decided we couldn't get it and you guys know the joy of being an adult huh <laughs> Now I am just kind of putting in some color, like I probably should have done to start with, but you know. Sometimes Lindsay will say, you know, don't do this part until you're done, because then you'll have to go over it, and I'll have to go over it, but you know, I don't care. Here's a baby, she's playing, she's playing today. She's doing just fine, she just hasn't eaten since, I mean, we got home late yesterday, and I immediately fed her, and she just hasn't eaten you know, so we do have the adult cat food down, and so it kind of has me concerned a little bit. But she's playing and stuff, you know, so I think she's okay. And she did go over and smell it and taste it, and then she's like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> so I think it's just not maybe her favorite right now. I do not know. This is really light. I'm going to just let that go. And then I think I want to try to put some dark kind of in this section. Uh, just kind of darken it up a little bit. So let's do the burnt sienna. And maybe some blue. So I'm going to try to incorporate this blue just to see what it does. Add some more dark sienna. Just because I need some like dark brown. Look, we got a nice dark brown. Much better. Much better, huh? Thank good. You. You're welcome. That's good, because, man, it's so funny how, um, when you put sunscreen on, how, how much difference it makes, you know? So, yeah, so we went ahead and drove the Raider home, or the Forerunner home, uh, yesterday, because they're not going to have the other part until another week. It was just a bummer. <laughs> but 
especially when you just paid, you know, a thousand bucks for it, and you're like, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> but, but anyways, it is what it is. It's just, just annoying. So, I think I'm gonna, he's starting to come together. What do you guys think? But I'm so excited about the paperclip series because I do have some really fun ideas. And I just decided, I think what I'm going to do is focus on, you know, of course, subject to change, I should say. But focus on um, junk journal stuff Monday through Friday videos. And then Saturday and Sunday, just kind of do whatever. So that if you are here just for junk journals... Um, most likely they'll be up Monday through Friday, but I'm not going to give up my watercolor either because, you know, that's what I love and that's what I'm, I want to do. So. But I think he's so cute. And I was so excited. Clint's like, there's a marmot. And I was like, where? I got to see it so I can do a uh, picture in my positivity journal because, first of all, I need to people are so ugly right now you know around the world I just gotta do some positivity stuff just gotta keep myself happy my friend's dad is still in the hospital on uh, a ventilator they called over 30 hospitals to moving to ones that could treat him better over 30 and they he's on, he got on the waiting list of two hospitals but yeah it's pretty pretty uh, pretty packed everywhere in Texas and that breaks my heart for her okay so this one I need a little bit of light over here so I'm just gonna kind of kind of go up and just kind of have because of the the light, I think, is shi the way it's shining. And then, look right here. Isn't this pretty? kind of has a cauliflower effect, which I love that. I think that's so fun. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it like that. So, let's just add. What else do I want to do? So, I ended up going over that whole thing, but let's add more dark. We'll kind of let it um, dry a bit, and then I'll even make it a little bit darker. Just for the really dark. But I was so excited to see this little guy yesterday. So cute. So cute. Focus on the right section there of darkness. Oh, somebody's in there just playing up a storm. I think a fake girl, which is good. I've had a lot of people in the last week request ink blenders. So, and then of course, you know, work is getting so busy. We already have people lined up for Monday. And, uh, yeah, it's like everyone's, you know, suddenly, it's kind of like the beginning of summer, again, because that's usually when we're super busy, and that's kind of what it is, it's kind of like, oh, all these people are, um, you know, you got to get, get this fence built, get this addition built, things like that, so, yeah. Okay, so, finished there, I think. Kind of visit this part up here, it has a little bit of brown kind of in the ear here, and then just a little bit of the cream color, a little bit here, a little bit over here, it's kind of, kind of, it looks kind of tan to me, but then, um, kind of over here, so 
just kind of some tan that kind of, you know, veers on to the... And I don't want him like, what am I thinking? I don't want him perfect. I just want, you know, a whimsical look, a whimsical look for him. So I want a little bit of black in this one. And just go around his eye right here. It might be too wet, but I'm hoping. I think it'll work. Even if it kind of um, zooms out, I think it's going to add a nice little effect. more of that because I kind of like that color. Just to kind of like on top here, a little bit of the black. Just to kind of darken this part just a little. And the brown. It's kind of coming to life, I think. It's kind of fun. Hope you guys give this a try or give watercolor a try. Um, our dear friend Gwendolyn, she's so cute. She did the eagle. The eagle was a while back. Oh, so adorable. So adorable. I didn't ask her if I could share it with you guys, but Gwendolyn, if you think it's okay to share, let me know and I'll kind of pop it up on my iPad. But man, it's so cute. And, uh, yeah, kind of like that, and then kind of come down here. This one has a little bit of brown in it through here, but not really, you know, not tons. A little bit of, I think we're just about done, too, which is good, because I don't know how long this video's been. And then just some really light. Trying to make it kind of um, like texture, just a little bit. And then up here. I do want to make some more of that black, but then it, um, to make black, I know you need the red and the green. I don't really have any, any of that of the red incorporated, so I'd need to kind of incorporate it elsewhere to you. Just a little highlight there. How cute. He's such a cutie. Such a cutie. Okay, let's see what else I need to do. Let's do... it all together. I like it. I think he looks really kind of cute. With like a little bit darker on some of these pieces down here. That's one thing I'm not really good at is tones, which is how dark or how light something is. And you kind of want to like in this situation, you would kind of um, look at his eye. His eye is like the darkest thing, and you would kind of compare different pieces to that. You know how dark that is. And kind of take everything else, you know, that's really dark, the same kind of tone as his eye. Which is kind of what we have here his shadow and stuff is kind of that tone, <coughs> which tone isn't necessarily black, it's just dark, you know, sister's back, sister's back, in my paper clips, he's looking kind of cute, kind of cute here, now I'm just kind of starting to kind of do a little bit of, um, the fur, 
Don't change that. <laughs> A little bit of fur here. Kind of just kind of making strokes. What do you have? Okay, she's got one of those really the four inch ones. Paper clips. Those are so fun to play with. And I had several people who said, oh, I had to go buy some. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not. Sorry to be an enabler. <laughs> so I'm just, now I'm kind of darkening just some of the other fur, just a little bit. You know, I don't want it super dark. I just want it to kind of. Nuh uh, what are you doing? If she comes back up, I'll see if she just wants to lay with them all night. So I'm just trying to kind of put the fur like in the same part that um, same direction. I really need a really dark color here. Like right under his chin. I have to add, you know, a few um, layers to get it as dark as I want it. Kind of look coming together, I think. Kind of fun. It's really fun to, to do this, you know. That's warmed up black. I don't want to add too much of that. And then right here is really, really dark. Like his ear. Right uh, if you are interested in Lindsay's courses, she it was her birthday, and she does a um, she does an annual thing of when it's her birthday. She gives a coupon code. Well, she's 44, so she gives you 44% off, which is kind of fun if you are interested. Color. Let's kind of put it here. And I think we're just about done here. So fun. So fun, guys. And a little bit there. Kind of around the eye just to kind of make it... Um, you know, kind of show up better. She's in the trash box now. <laughs> in the trash bucket. Alright. She's definitely happy that we're home. She's laying with me all morning. She, we've, we haven't been gone since so she's been, you know, really much in this I think this time is kind of getting to her because um, she doesn't understand it really. Okay, I think I'm going to call it done. Maybe, maybe a little bit of gray just to soften this one line over here. Kind of a sharp line. You can kind of use your brush, kind of go over it and kind of pull up some of that color. And then just to kind of soften it a little bit. That's the bloom, kind of. And just put a little bit of that. I need a little bit more dark, don't I? For his mouth. His mouth isn't quite dark enough. It makes me up a little bit more of the really dark. Really dark. But you know what, too? You can come back with a black pen or something. Okay, so yeah, let's let that dry. I'll come back with black and some white, and then we will do in our, um, our positivity quote. So, I'll be right back.
Okay guys, I put away my watercolors and I dried this really well. I just used my hair dryer. <laughs> and I pulled out my Prismacolors because I do want to put in some darker uh, shades and some highlights. So, I thought I'd give them a try. My white, maybe, I don't know, maybe this one. I really like these. These are really fun. And if I remember, I'll put a link to this. Um, this one has like colored pencils, uh, the thin colored pencils, watercolor pencils, art sticks, and a sharpener. I thought it was really a good deal. So, are you still doing it? I am still working. Good. I want to show you guys this. Oh, did you? Cool. Oh my gosh. So now I'm just kind of putting in some dark, dark shades. What did you show them? What do you want to show them? Oh, the wormhole. Yeah. Wait for it. Ooh, Wait. it came out. Oh, that's interesting, huh? So I'm hoping, I know this part will be a disappear. This, or this part will disappear. Uh, and just part of that, but I will be able to keep that wormhole, and I should be able to keep this one. Oh, cool. And probably this hole right there I'm not going to fill, because it's a knot. But I had to show it to you. That's really cool. I think cool. I'm up to about 10 right now. Oh, nice. Jenny's there today, Oh, I wonder if it was Jenny who did that yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sharpen my pencil. I'll be right back. Um, so these are Prism Prismacolor and they go over like on top of stuff, which I really like. And I just needed like some, um, you know, some extra darkness. I didn't feel like I was getting the colors I wanted. So, and I think it's already made a difference, you know, kind of makes, I don't know. They say that's when you kind of make your, um, your picture kind of turn 3D is when you kind of bring in the really darks and, the, you know, lightest lights and things like that. So, that's what I'm kind of attempting. So, I'm not the greatest at that. I do want my eyeball to be really black because I wasn't happy with that color. And then there's a little bit of a, of a shade there, and then right here. But because it's so dark, it kind of, I can even see them coming together, you know, and it's kind of like, oh, he really is looking, you know, more better. <laughs> kind of more better. But I really wanted those darks in because I just wasn't happy with that, you know. Now, like his nose, I want to kind of make that really dark, and then just a little bit, like over here, there's a dark spot there. But man, you know the difference, it's so fun to learn different techniques and stuff, I think. But uh, my friend Charlotte, her son is an art teacher, and so I took my picture. I don't know if I showed you guys. I took a picture of my sister uh, and asked him about it, and he says I really needed to, you know, pay attention to my darkest darks and my lightest lights and stuff like that. So that was interesting. You know, I learned quite a bit. I mean, it kind of looks like what I want it to look. <laughs> kind of looks like what I was expecting it to look like when I. do that. We'll put another white highlight here, I think. And, yeah, I think that's pretty much just trying to get those highlights in. Or those dark, darkest darks in. So fun. Sorry, guys, I don't know if I went over time or not, but 
It's okay. That. Any other darkest darks? Looks pretty good. Oh, the mouth. The mouth, it looks like he's smiling. I'm okay with that. If I'm doing a critter, I may as well have a happy critter, huh? <laughs> certainly, certainly. And a little bit of like, shading there as well. Look how cute he's turning out. A little bit right there, too. I mean, he kind of looks, especially when I look on the camera, I'm like, holy cow, it does look like a marm. Okay, so now I'm just using the white to kind of bring in, because he does have some um, um, whiskers, which is kind of cute. A few over here that are kind of black. Over here. Not too many, I'm just kind of adding, you know, just a little bit to make him a little bit more, more lifelike. And I think that's about it. So let's add a little bit of the white just to kind of, I don't have a whole lot here, but like right through here. The sun's shining, so I kind of want to, you know, get that part. And then it's really shining like up here. And then through here a little bit. Isn't that cute? I love him. Guys, what do you think? And then let's see if this will give me the white. It won't. So I'm going to have to use my... I'm going to go ahead and darken the whole eye. Because I really want to, you know, bring that up a little bit. And then I want just a little eye. A darkness here. And then a little darkness up here. Just kind of get his eye to look, you know, more, um, more detailed. So fun. And then have just a little bit of white here. A little more white here. But I love these pencils. They're really great for going over, um, watercolor. It's really cool. And then there's a little bit like underneath his eye, just a little bit. And then like over here, just a little cheek. Like, okay. I think he's just about done. How fun is that? Let's do the ear. Just a little bit, kind of a little bit more definition around the ear. Okay, so let me see if I have that. My white gel pen. Let me grab that and we're about done here. Okay guys, of course I can't find my white gel pen. I found this one, but it must be just like a, well it says it's white. I wasn't having it, so. Which is funny, because I don't know where I put it. Hmm. So, I'm going to have to order a couple more, I think. Just a so, um, we're just going to pick out a highlight here with a little Zacto knife. Just a little one. There, there we go. That's him. So, I'm going to watch my critters until there's no thing for that. So, that's the um, one I used. That's the one that it turned out like. Oh, and you know, I wanted to put some green grass, kind of. So maybe I'll just throw some, some of that in real quick, just to kind of have, you know, so he wasn't just like on. Maybe he's just like in a grassy area. grabbing some different kinds of green just to kind of throw that in. <clears throat> a 
also where we did see him, he was, um, there was a lot of wildflowers. So pretty. Such a beautiful area. I think I already did that one. Okay, let's add just a couple of highlight, highlight uh, greens. I tell you, if you guys have, if you love um, colored pencils and you're thinking about getting some, I would definitely spend some money on these. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they sell them at Hobby Lobby, so you could get, you know, 40% off, but... Search around. I will try to remember to put a link. There we go. Good enough. Okay. Uh, but yeah, just do, um, let me add some brown, because why not? <laughs> trying to rush. I know it's probably way, way over, over time, but... But yeah, look on Hobby Lobby. See if you can get it 30% off. I definitely recommend. Recommend those. Okay, so here's my journal. Let's pop that in. But I do love that you can use those. Um, I almost forgot to write my name. I do love that you can... Um, use that to kind of go over, you know, certain things. Shell, 718. And I think I'm just going to pop him here. Isn't he cute? And I'm just going to do a really simple thing. You know the package. I'm just hoping those rings are here because my goal was to have them ready to go in the store by tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see. Oh, he's so cute. You know when I walk, when I uh, when you stare at him, you're kind of like that does not look anything like a marmot. And then I went in there and dried it, and I came back and walked away for something and came back. And I was like, oh, looks just like him. <laughs> kind of is like, hello, it is me. I am a marmot. <laughs> I know. I know I'm a nut. So, yeah. So, I think what I'm just going to write <coughs> is right down here. I'm just going to write it on this because it's just a little scrap. <coughs> And I was thinking about a marmot, and you know what they love? Sunshine. So, for positivity, I thought, you know, I'm going to write, look for the sunshine. Because, isn't that something to really focus on, you know, during this time? Hopefully I can get it all on here. Look for... Nothing big, but kind of reminds us to, you know, don't look for the clouds, look for the sunshine. So anyways, that's my thought. I had another sunshine quote, and I was thinking to myself, I just need to write, look for the sunshine. There we go, guys. So, I hope this was fun for you guys. I hope it wasn't too super long. I don't know. I need to start doing my uh, <coughs> timer stuff again. But I think it turned out so cute. What do you guys think? 
let me know in the comments. Be nice. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. And, you know, spend this day, uh, spend the weekend looking for the sunshine in all situations. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.